Hi everybody, I'm Grace. I'm the founder of Possible English. Today I have come with a beautiful topic. Again, I'm going to teach you a new technique which will empower your speaking level. Some people, they get bored and they get tired, get exhausted to learn English in day-to-day life. It is really difficult. It is really challenging day. Okay, every day has become a challenging day. How can you manage? How can you manage people around you? How can you manage the foreigners around you? And uh, these are all the problems you have been undergoing. So specifically, people, they meet foreigners in their company and they find it very difficult to talk with them. If you want to overcome such issues, I can give you a beautiful and fantastic idea which will help you to build your confidence level. Today, I have chosen a very beautiful technique. The name of the technique is riffing. Riffing means repeating something constantly to remember the word or try to multiple your questioning skill or answering skill or whatever it may be. Here I will give you a phrasal verb. Phrasal verb means an action verb. Along with that, you can find a preposition. Uh, for an example, keep up. So keep up is a familiar phrasal verb. Everyone knows it meaning. It means like you continue to do something. Am I right? So we usually encourage people to use this phrasal verb. Keep up your good work. Yes. But there are several concepts. Uh, when, when we start thinking about keep up, there are several phrases, idiomatic phrases. I will say one after another. Keep up the pace. So what does it mean? Stay always fast. You should be very fast. You should increase your speed. So this is the meaning of keep up your pace. And you can make use of keep up in different ways like keep up your appearances. Appearances in a sense like you should maintain your image. You shouldn't lose your good name. Sometimes, you know, people, they bring um, bad name. Uh, they may create bad name and they may bring bad name in the society. So you have to maintain your image. So it means that you have to keep up your appearances. It means that you have to maintain your image very safely. You should secure your image. So this is the exact meaning of keep up your appearances. So like I'm, I have been using keep up in different ways. Are you, are you able to follow? Are you able to analyze the difference between keep up uh, your good work, keep up your pace, keep up your appearances? So each and every sentence, idiomatic sentence gives beautiful meaning and different meaning. So this is the way you have to use keep up in different ways. I'll give you a few more examples to get better understanding about this activity yeah so i can use keep up the times like you have to adapt yourself keep up the times in a sense you have to maintain the timing properly uh, sometimes the company has uh, the exact time to enter the company right so whenever you enter the company you should maintain you should get adapted to your company timings you shouldn't come on your own timing so sometimes it may uh, you know give negative feedback about your punctuality so here i have used to keep up your uh, keep up your times so here this idiomatic expression is different from the above all am i right let me go with the next one keep up to keep up to date so like keep up to date in a sense like you have to stay in current uh, current situation you have to talk about update something and you have to talk about current issue so this is the meaning of keep up to date in a sense stay informed about something you have to inform something uh, about the current issue current things I hope you are you are able to follow the idiomatic expression yeah then one more thing keep up your God in a sense stay alert Keep up your God in a sense that you, wherever you go, whenever you travel alone at night, 
then you how to keep up your god you should be alert about the people around you strangers around you whenever you sleep you should be uh, alert about the environment and uh, the people are really good or bad you don't know you are not aware of the environment so keep up your god in a sense it means that you have to stay alert keep on using keep up but i am just changing the situation so we are bringing different situations into our conversation so this is the way we usually think when we start thinking beyond the limitation beyond your thinking capacity you have excellent capacity but you never use it this is the problem everyone has been facing so my question is today like have you been learning have you been you know bringing any progressive result in your conversation in your thinking level are you able to think independently are you able to become a very good creator on your own here i have been giving many words many idiomatic expressions using one phrase to work keep up so why don't you try something else i will give you some expressions idiomatic expressions now you can try listing out all those expressions on my comment box and tell the meaning of them i will give you only the expressions okay so keep up your strength what is the meaning of it and keep up your studies what is the meaning of it keep up your sleeve what is the meaning of it okay so among these three i will give you the meaning for the last one keep up your sleeves in a sense like hide secret don't tell the secret to anybody don't reveal it to anybody like these are all the uh, idiomatic expressions you are able to create so you can use all these expressions in different situations okay with different people this is the way this is the only way you are able to improve your creativity as well as you can remember the same phrasal verb even till your lifetime you cannot forget it so if you find a uh, very difficult to remember the words so this is a beautiful and fantastic activity which can help you to remember the word constantly and you will become very good creator and you can create something independently and you will be able to correct your mistakes on your own when you start doing that definitely you can become more fluent in english language so this is the way i build my confident level every day i do this activity and i just improve my skill i make myself to become more progressive in my conversation so if you find this video more useful please leave your comment and you can subscribe to my channel and if you want to more if you want to know more about uh, the courses which i have been handling uh, like all over the world uh, like i handle ielts toefl even i make the people to score high band in ielts exam so if you have been trying Uh, so many times but you have become very uh, very upset about your performance you can better contact me uh, definitely i can give you hopeful result after completing all these techniques so today i have invested a new technique it is called to be riffing technique and britishers as uh, britisher uh, has been introducing several things but we are not aware of those techniques and we always follow our own way and we have influence over our mother tongue since people are from medium of tamil they find it very difficult to think so this activity can be more useful for tamil medium people they can also speak well as i am doing now so it is really quite easy don't feel hesitant don't be tired don't don't become tired you you can do well you are able to do anything on the spot so these kind of techniques can give you hope and also you will become bold to face any kind of audience in front of you even the audience uh, has the majority noise in front of you you can control your uh, audience with your powerful words powerful idiomatic expressions if you learn it in a proper way as the suggestion is given today okay so i hope this video uh, will help you a lot to improve your fluency level bye